Hi, my name is Trevor Stocking, and I'm here today to talk to you about teaching pitching mechanics. Before we talk about the absolutes of pitching, we must establish the role of a coach and a player. Once we do that, everything else is much easier. But if we go into teaching pitching with just doing the absolutes, once we get into a game situation, everything's going to come unraveled. The role of a coach is to be able to get the players to understand what adjustments they need to make and how to make those adjustments. We do so by following the six absolutes and being able to understand how those work in progression for their body. So if a player is missing left and right, we will learn that that's caused by a balance issue. So then the fix is then to learn how to get the pitcher to stay, keep his head straight before he throws. So if we talk about the psychology of how to make an adjustment, most coaches and most pitchers always follow up what they did wrong with, if my head moves, I will say, don't move your head, or the coach will say, don't move your head. But if you really think about that, what picture did we put in a pitcher's head? Moving their head. So the next pitch, they're probably going to repeat that. The easiest way that I get a pitcher to understand that is by saying, don't do this right now. Don't think about a pink elephant in their head. And all of the kids think about a pink elephant. Same thing in the aspect of if I say, don't move their head. But if I can do it in a progression of, don't think about a pink elephant, think about a green elephant, for the most part, kids start thinking about that green elephant. As a pitching coach, our job is to get them to understand those green elephants. If my head moves, I'm going to say, oh, I moved my head, I shouldn't move my head. But I have to follow that up with a fix, which is our green elephant. So that would be keeping our head straight.